Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube. It's like TV. Boredom. I'm in this beautiful hotel room in Washington, D.C., but I'm bored out of my mind. So I think I'm gonna get sweet greens. It's a gorgeous hotel room. Two days ago, I'm in my hotel room. I'm just coming back from doing my work and I come back to the hotel and I started noticing like a lot of like red type of people in the lobby, no big thing, but there's a lot more than I normally would have seen. Oh, okay, whatever. People are people. You could tell in the air, the vibe is violent, you know, a lot of tension. And I asked the concierge what's going on. And they like, there's a protest going on, but we can't call it a protest. So it's a rally. I'm like a rally? For what? Well, um, they're protesting Trump getting out of office. Oh, okay, whatever. Everyone's free to their opinion. No big deal. So yesterday, business as usual. I'm not watching the news. I don't know what's going on. I decided to take the train today. We're gonna go into the city to see if we can see what's up with the Capitol building. Let's get seats. Look at how grungy this thing is. Dang, this is like a grungy Disney World. You see like, look how long, look how wide this elevator is. I have a question. I know, I don't know if you'd happen to know, do you know where the red train is? Uh, do, could we get close to the Capitol? Okay. All right. You're on the camera. <laughs> Come to find out, we can't really go to the stop that we need to go to the Capitol because they locked the Capitol down. But we have to go to like two or three next stops or whatever. And then hopefully there's something there. I don't know. What do you think? You got to use the bathroom? No, I'm okay. I got to use the bathroom. Let's see if I can find the bathroom type. No restroom available. You think it's a barrel? This is random. Oh my God. I could just use the bathroom. Oh, man, well, what do you know? <laughs> you were still filming? <laughs> I just got to, I heard you whistling. I totally violated their bathroom. They went in there, we didn't get it, but it was funny. We walked in the leasing office and just used the bathroom. Her face was like, what the hell? She came out like, what's going on in here? I was like, sorry, ma'am, I just had to pee. I left that bathroom a mess, too. I'm getting calls from my wife, my family, my friends. Are you all right? I'm like, all right, what are you talking about? They're like, do you not watch the news? No, I don't watch the news at all. I get all my news from Twitter and YouTube. And they go, um, the, the, the people who are protesting have went into the Capitol building and they took over the building. And I'm like, what? So... Okay, whatever. Me and Devin are driving. You going back on the, on the vlog? All day you online. vlogging all day online? Did you get to see the vlog yet? You lit, baby. That's my guy right there. Devin. He says we're lit. I don't know what lit means. He knows what lit means. We going in the V. Come on, B. Hold on, let me get this done right. Woo! Woo! Did I open for you? No, it did not open. Did I embarrass you in front of the vlog? Nah, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I didn't even get to show. I didn't even get to do it. Do, do, do that like that. You really got to do it like that. I ain't even trying to do them like that, cause I be doing them like that. How <laughs> you be doing them, kid? Like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we go. You know, we basically tr drive underneath the Capitol building. You know, we see a lot of people walking. All right, no big deal. And then the news comes out of everything that happened and right from under my nose. I mean, I can walk down the block and see the Capitol building. I don't think anything of it. And uh, it's just surprising. So it dawns on me that the people that were in my lobby are the people that were some of the people that were probably in the Capitol building. Because as I'm looking at some of the photos, I'm noticing I'm looking at a couple of familiar faces. <laughs> I actually seen a couple of these people. I, I'm noticing them from their beard and the, what they're wearing. I'm like, I know that person. In fact, they were just right in front of my building. 
I'm a little spooked out and it's the morning after and they're still here because they have to I'm sure not everyone gets on a nine o'clock flight so I think today I'm probably gonna go and ask a couple questions but the reality is I don't even want to ask any questions I'm not in the mood to ask them why they did what they did why because all they're gonna say is oh it wasn't me oh I didn't intend for that we I didn't you know I don't want to hear all of that but what I do want to know is why even come here what do you expect coming here what do you get out of it i'm not a protester and i get it everyone has their free freedom to speech or whatever but what the hell do you expect coming here behind me is the capitol building i i don't know if you can see it but i can't get there right now but I've been in D.C. this whole time and it's been very interesting because on the news it seems like it's more than what it really is. The fact of the matter is it's everyday life. All they're doing is blocking off the entrances to get to the Capitol building. And they're making a whole new story about it. Now, not to say that these Trump supporters that messed up everything were, it wasn't real. No, it was very real. But the point is, it seems like it's a lot scarier than what it really is. Everyone's enjoying their everyday life. There's nothing really going on other than life. So here it is, DC. Oh boy, this is a comfortable bed. Very, very comfortable. In fact, I don't like getting out of this bed in the morning time. It feels that good. Let me take you on a tour around this room. Gotta have my oatmeal. Have some cups. Gotta have my tea, mint medley, and perfect peach. I tend to have them both at the same time, hotel cups. And I have another spoon, but I tend to use the same spoon. Hey, is this not on? You do the mint medley with the actual peach. This gives it somewhat of a semi, semi Starbucks flavor. And by the way, I'm in love with the Starbucks, Starbucks medicine ball. That's where I got it from, medicine ball. Now I have my water, which is boiling my oatmeal and my tea with some honey. When the water stops making that boiling sound, that means it's ready. And you pour a little bit of water in here and you pour the rest of the water in here. You mix up the oatmeal and you make it sit there because the water is hot. So you take some of this. I don't know how much I'm putting in here, but I, pr I tend to like a lot of honey. And then you just mix it up. This is how you enjoy my meal. This is my hotel I'm staying at. I'm thinking about upgrading to this room real quick. This has like two separate areas. Get to see the Navy Yard. And beside you, you get to see other people's terraces. Man. Okay, this is just one part of the room. I'm really thinking about upgrading my room. I'm like, man, this, this is a nice piece of uh, room right here. This whole big sectional you could get. Man, I gotta upgrade my whole room now. And now we're going into the other room. 
this little thing. As soon as you walk in. You know, I walk naked, so I guess here goes the, the closet. No different than the one I have. Yeah, it's all, all kind of the same. Same setup with the little seat. Yo, it's let's get seats in the building. This has a nice little table. Oh, we got the the retract the uh I guess I don't know if it's called retractable TV. It goes in. Then you have like the little seating, I mean seating area, then the bed. And of course the bathroom, which is very similar to the one I have, no different. But man, you get this whole whole section and you get to see it right here. Man, I gotta upgrade my room. I need, I need some of this right here. Type and press. I mean, I don't need all this space, but I mean, it's good to have if you have it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. What's behind this door? Oh, the set. Oh, the standing bed. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh. This would be perfect for like a guest. Oh, I could actually have the kit. Oh man, yo, I gotta upgrade my room, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, having all of this by myself would be a little overkill. But you know, if I upgrade, and to hit the funny part right here, this thing right here, you can see through into the hallway. I walk around naked all the time. It's probably not a good idea. But man, it's a nice room. I think I should upgrade. I've been super, super lazy with filming. It's, this is just all my fault. I can't even lie to you, man. I've been super ass lazy. There ain't no reason why I haven't been filming, but I'm in DC still. Hey, what's up, bro? How's everything? Good, good. I think music makes him high. We in sex for, I gotta buy some underwear. He, he doesn't know why we in sex to buy underwear. Well, when I buy it, I shall explain to you, my brother. That's what I'm gonna go when I get out of here. He's gonna go to the fragrance section. That's what I do every single time we come to one That's of these true, stores. that's true. You do do that. Yeah, yeah, I do. You first. Are you used to being on camera? A couple times. How's it feel? Regular. Ain't nobody in this elevator, bro. <laughs> I don't want to cover the mic, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. This guy right here, man. You're an interesting character, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's not the first I've heard that. You know, definitely ain't gonna be the last time. Just come on, man. I gotta find the uh, goddamn uh, the men's uh, underwear type. Seventy percent off? What? I'm about to go up in sacks. Go buy some underwear. Oh, un all right. Thank you. Two hundred fifteen dollars? Oh, this is off white. I'm saying to myself, two hundred fifteen dollars. Some goddamn underwear. What's the math on that? I don't even know why we in here for some fucking underwear. He don't get it. It is. It's seventy percent off though. How much is seventy percent off two? Two fucking much for some three pairs of underwear. How much is seventy percent off two hundred fifteen? So ninety. That's about. Damn, that's still expensive, bro. So, cause that's sixty dollars, sixty, seventy dollars, seventy-five dollars. $75. Tom Ford, Tom Ford underwear. $50 for one underwear and this shit is a tidy whitey type. So this is for the looks right here. 50, 70 off 50? Oh, this coming with me. Okay, that comes with me. Yeah, that comes with me. That's coming with me. I'm gonna ring up these two right here. Can you do it? Yeah, Okay. I love shopping at Saks, great place. We love having you. Oh, man. And, and I'm here. I forgot all my shirts in New York. I'm here for business. Oh. And then I get here, no shirts. Oh, no. And so now this is my third time here shopping. <laughs> Thank you for coming. He always laughs at me. He goes, every city we go to, you're always, Forgetting something. <laughs> always buying new shirts. But what I do to regulate my wardrobe is for every new thing I buy, I throw something away. Oh, that's really sweet. Smart. Because then you just have... Um, but here's the dilemma. Yeah. 
everything I buy now, I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to get my t-shirts down to five. Oh, wow. Five t-shirts. I'm trying. That's, that's awesome. It's pretty good. Fantastic. I think I made out like a bandit. I think you did too. Yeah. And you enjoyed All it. All right. All Thank right. you so much. And that shirt is still calling me. Take care. Oh, nice. Service with a smile. That's why you got to like shopping at places like Saks. You get a good experience. And I still didn't get underwear. Everybody seems very happy here. It's not like uh, Bloomingdale's. It's not like Bloomingdale's. You guys are not like Luxury retail. It's more luxury and retail. It's, it's straight Lux. Super Lux. There you go, Super Lux. Like Lumens, right? Like what? Lumens. Sure. Like what? Lumens, you know, Lux, Lumens. You know Lumens is, you know what Lumens are? And Lux is, you know that? Used to be in the film business? No. I, I used to be in the what? Film business, I don't know. No, 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 yeah, it's all good. But Saks is a way better experience. Superior compared to other department stores. He's gonna no longer shop anywhere else. No more Express for him. Okay, 1.7 and the 3.2, you see the difference. Okay. He's never gonna shop in Express anymore. First of all, I don't shop in Express, He's never, first of all. He's gonna never shop in Zara. No, I shop in Zara, I shop everywhere. But this guy right here doesn't believe that, that you need to shop anywhere else but this place. I don't fucking know why, but that's what he does. What else are you gonna get anywhere else? 310 and 450. 310. Okay. So the, so 1.7 is 310. 310. 310. And this is the larger one, is 415. Mm -hmm. Holy okay. moly. Yeah. Hold on, $310 for that? Yeah, 310 for this one and 415 for this one. That's a lot this of money. Why, this is why we come here, right? Boss. Let me smell. This, I like this one. Mm. Did you put it on your skin? No, I didn't put it on my skin. I have already had. You didn't orange. educate this man. I didn't know I was gonna be here. He wasn't so you be have here. to spray it on your skin in order to get. But the... I, if I already have something on my skin, it doesn't matter. Like it's gonna. So you be... can mix. Dude, I'm not talking to you. All right. Can't win with this guy. You're very welcome. Can't win. Can't win. Can't win. Are you ready? Dude, you are, we already. I already have something on there. You know, it's not. It's not good to do that to mix the fragrances. You know that, right? He says you not. You know that, do you? No. Okay. All right, listen. Can you please tell him? If you want the true authentic smell and how it's going to I work know. with your chemistry of the skin, then yes, you should only spray it one, one fragrance. Do you mix fragrances? You can, absolutely. Do you? But he's probably sprayed his at like seven in the morning. Yes. So it will be like a different. Yes. More like three in the you afternoon to. a true scent. Right. Like exactly. How it would Got you. Exactly. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. It, is it, Educated. Is he's an Atlantonian. You from Atlanta? She said she doesn't know what that is. Are oh, you from Atlanta? Yeah. I'm very bad. This is your Atlantonian. What, how, do you, how do you say it? We don't call it that. We call it ATLian. No, no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you, you, yeah, respect yeah, yeah. your ATLian on the phone. ATLian. Respect All right, you got it. All right. Respect. You won. I lost. Atlantonian. Can't win. Sound, Can't like win with these New Yorkers. It sound like somebody who's going to the New Yorkers don't never ever let it go. She, Jesus. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy it while it lasts. America, oh America. I love you so much. <laughs> That's the capital behind me. That's where everybody raided and stormed uh, last week. And uh, I don't know, man. It's a, this DC is a beautiful place. It'll be a shame that people destroy this beautiful nation. And it, I feel very patriotic once again as I'm in DC for this past month. And uh, I would hate to see all of this turn to crap, you know? Thank you to everybody who subscribed to me. Thank you to everyone who watched my videos. And um, we're monetized. Thank you so much. We did good. Um, with that said, the hard work just began. And uh, now it's time to make some money. So tell a friend to tell a friend to watch my videos because they're funny, because you like my humor, because you understand my humor. Thank God. So right now I'm at 3,500 or so subscribers. We need to get that up to 10K. 10K subscribers, yeah. Oh, this is hot. Okay. I stick to YouTube, it's like TV. My goodness, my goodness, it didn't work out. We tried, unsuccessful. 
what happens is the police are blocking off every exit. We tried and we just couldn't do it. So we got no content for you. <laughs> don't forget, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. You don't even have to comment. But what you could do is send that dollar to my cash app and to my Venmo at, <laughs> she said, no behind the camera. Well, yes, yeah, you send that dollar. Y'all been doing a good job sending that money. Hey, yeah, yeah. Cue music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, send that dollar. Send that dollar.